Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on March 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the volcanic activity report as yeah, this has been a quick one because just last week I put out the volcanic activity report and we were up to 49. Now we're at 52 erupting volcanoes around the planet looking at some very stressed areas through the Ring of Fire and as well Mediterranean into Africa and now the Atlantic Plate seeing some action as well and the continuing earthquakes through China seeing a lot of shifting around the planet I would say over the last little while things are still changing dramatically through the Kermadec Islands in that large trench and now Iceland has a volcano that has erupted and is alive and it is called a Fragda Fragile Fragda Fragile volcano is alive and that is now number 52 and there are a couple more actually that aren't even being documented on this site right now that have erupted in Russia parts of Eurasia overlooking Hawaii here Kilauea watch for some interesting cloud imagery at the end of this video as well in Alaska Venimianov has awoken since the last update as well through Guatemala and Mexico very very busy for volcanoes many are erupting many are producing a lot of SO2 definitely producing more SO2 than we are CO2 moving through here Pacaya Santa Maria and Fuego Popo and Talica volcano San Cristobal Masaya Recon de la Veja and Tarabla Moving into South America, Nevada de Ruiz, and as well through Barbados, of course, St. Vincent, the Grenadade, Grenadade. Moving into Ecuador, two very powerful volcanoes, Reventador, and as well, Sangay. Sabancaya in Peru. Chile Argentina border. Nevadas de Chilean. And as well, Villarica. Moving across the planet to Africa. Two very large SO2 producers here near Marigira volcano and as well near Agongo volcano. North Africa here with the Ert Ale. A lot of ash cloud is coming through this area right now due to the massive eruptions over here in the Mediterranean, Sicily, Sicily Italy with Etna and as well Stromboli showing a few puffs since February 3rd and as you've been seeing all over the internet Etna has had explosive eruptions over this last little while thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by the raining brimstone across the planet crazy looking here through Indonesia moving down through Indonesia with the Kerinci volcano East Java with Merapi a lot of not much SO2 actually coming through these areas but still very active volcanoes large trench here and you can see the earthquakes are right in the trench everywhere recently and they're getting deeper and stronger 
the frequency in numbers. Thoughts and prayers to everybody who is affected by volcanoes around the world. Moving through here with the Sangang Api volcano. And then through Timor Test, Luatolo. Through the Philippines here, Ibu and Takono. As well, Karangatang. And then, yeah, as I've seen a few articles recently, Tal Volcano showing some signs of life. And it is now on the map. So Manila, the Tal Volcano, showing signs of life, minor activity or eruptions. Moving up into Japan here with Sakurajima. And as well, Suisunajima. But there's still quite a few volcanoes that are in unrest throughout the Japan Islands. One, two, three, four. Just had to point that out as well. Looking through Kamchatka and the Kree Islands here. Sarchev Peak Volcano. And as well, Ebiko into Kamchatka with Kermiski and there's a couple more that aren't being listed here we've got Kluchevskoy Bezimiani and as well Shivlush but there are a couple more I'm seeing some articles and some videos coming out very active Kamchatka and Aleutian Islands right now two new volcanoes awakening this week along the Aleutians and a couple more here in Kamchatka. Northern Hemisphere seeing a lot of pressure right now. To say the least. Seismopochnoi. And as well, Venemyanov. In Alaska. Moving down into Papua New Guinea. Where we have Kadapur, as well Menam, and Langila is a pretty active region. Just recently, a very deep earthquake, 600 kilometer depth in this region, a Yasser volcano, and as well the mighty Erubus in Antarctica. So yeah, around the world, looking at 52 active and erupting volcanoes. Interesting, all of the seismicity throughout the Kermadec Islands in that large trench stretching down into New Zealand. The Ring of Fire is very active with 52 active and erupting volcanoes. And just four days ago, I reported there were 49, which is the most that I've reported in my four years. And now we're sitting at 52, so stay aware and prepared because things are about to change in our weather, I think, drastically. Looking here at Ash Cloud observ Observations, Go 16, Go 17 satellite over the upper northwest United States. And there's, I'm sorry about the flashes, but look at all of the ash cloud being observed through Nevada coming off of the California border there with Nevada as well small spot there off the coast of California in the ocean and all of this ash cloud is moving eastward but look at that and have a look at our SO2 levels this is windy.com for the next few days forecasted and you can see there was quite a bit of SO2 coming out of Etna and as well through Guatemala 
and we've seen quite a bit of ash cloud come in from Kamchatka. Across the northern hemisphere, we're definitely seeing an increase in SO2 more than we are CO2, that's for sure. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the SO2 maps versus the CO2 maps. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Please share this video with your friends and family as we now have 52 volcanoes erupting around the world. And that's not to mention all the ones that are showing unrest. So, for detailed forecasts coming up, stay tuned to the Morning Dew. And thank you all for watching. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.